less than 10 years ago, controlling a computer with hand gestures was science fiction. Well, it looks like the future is here. Okay, this version is a bit basic, and you might not have this in your living room yet, but it's closer than you think. In fact, if you're one of the millions who got to connect in recent weeks, this technology is sitting next to your television right now. now you're using it. And for you slow adopters out there, this is the Connect. This is the brand new world of Jeff the gaming world. The hackers. What really jump-started the uh, Connect hacking scene was uh, Adafruit Industries, uh, who set out um, what ultimately became a $3,000 bounty um, for someone to kind of figure out how to get the Connect to talk to the computer. And it was this engineer in New York who kicked off what has become a revolution in gesture technology. She set up a competition for the first person to figure out how to get the Connect to work with a computer rather than just a gaming console. In other words, repurposing the Kinect for uses beyond gaming. We're trying to allow people who bought this Kinect, they bought the hardware to use it for more than Microsoft maybe would have initially allowed them to. Hi there. It's actually surprisingly easy to interface with this device. And within days, a hacker in Spain posted on the web free software to do just that. So the Kinect is like the holy grail of low-cost 3D video. It is perfect for artists, engineers, roboticists, medical uses, everything. And stuff that was previously impossible or so expensive is now off the shelf for $150. And its low price is why this technology is significant. 3D video has suddenly become available to everyone. And this could really change the way we interact with the digital world.